In Shag Chapling, morning begins with meditation. In a cloister high on Mount Kanchkanar, we meet with young Buddhists, men and women who live in accordance with Buddhist teachings. This guy has been peacefully meditating here for 20 years, but the peace and quiet could soon be disturbed because the mountain here contains iron ore and the lure of profits for the steel industry at the foot of Mount Kachkanar. This temple and the whole mountain is in danger. This mountain is five and a half billion years old. No one has a right to own it. I've been living here for so long, so I'm staying here. Up to now, only blocks of ice are crushed here daily for water to make tea. But soon, machines could be brought here to demolish the Buddhist temple and dig for iron. The monks and nuns are resolved to remain calm. Especially this man, whom they respectfully call Lama. Mikhail Sanikov founded this holy spot 20 years ago. But the congregation is not officially recognized. Most Buddhists in Russia are part of the ethnic community of the Buryats in Siberia or live in the Altai range at the Mongolian border, but not here in the Urals. The authorities regard the residents of Shad Chapling as illegal squatters who will have to leave Mount Kachkanar soon. Master Sanikov responds to this as his faith teaches him. Buddhism teaches us to accept things as they are. So if you encounter a bad person, maybe you only think he's bad. He could be a good family man a great dad, or a fantastic lover, or have really snazzy shoes. Something about him must be good. But the monks and nuns don't think it would be a good thing to destroy Mount Kachkanar. They say the iron ore deposits aren't rich enough to feed the 40,000 residents of the city of Kachkanar at the foot of the mountain for years. The steel manufacturer and the local government disagree. Minerals have been mined in this region for more than 50 years. No one here can imagine a life without mining. When I was still in school, my parents said, the mine is your future. You can always get a job there. I still have this job, and I hope to keep it. Otherwise, I'd have to leave the city or turn to crime to get money. I don't have any other choice. I have to feed my family. The mined ore is immediately crushed, separated, concentrated, and sent to the gigantic steel plants in Nizhny Tagil, in the central Ural Mountains. Without freshly mined ore, production ceases and with it, revenues and jobs. That's why the steel industry regards the disappearance of the Buddhist temple as a done deal. We think in purely material categories. We don't have anything against the people up there. They're simply illegal. That's all. In only a few weeks, that could mean the end of Buddhism here. The monks and nuns aren't considering moving. They believe in the holy path that leads to their temple. They believe they mustn't leave it, but must keep calm and carry on meditating. There is nothing more valuable than our ideas, our thinking. And there are the Buddhist teachings. The Buddhist teachings help us put things together and understand things. 
Он изучает ум. For now, Buddha is still gazing peacefully into the distance, but a storm is brewing, and will soon be here.